Yo, welcome back to example <clears throat> four in section 4.3. So this is another one where we're going to do it exactly like we did before. So <clears throat> let's see. A in this problem is negative one. So the graph opens down again. Uh, let's see, for the vertex, the x coordinate is negative b over 2a, so we have negative 4 over 2 times a negative 1, which is a positive 2. If we plug that in <clears throat> to the equation, we get negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 7, which is negative 4 plus 8 minus 7. Let's see, that seems like a negative 3 to me, I think. Yes, yes, negative 3. So our vertex is the point 2, negative 3, 2, negative 3. And just a brief sketch here, if that's the vertex and it opens down, we can see that we have no x intercepts by rough sketch. So let's figure out the y-intercept and the axis of symmetry. So if we go ahead and put our, and our vertex should be over here, sorry about that. But the same thing works, it's still no x-intercepts. Our axis of symmetry goes right down through the vertex. So that is x equals 2. And the last thing to do is find our y-intercept. So our y-intercept means we plug 0 in for x. So we get negative 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 7 is negative 7. So our y-intercept is at negative 7, and by symmetry we ha also have a point at 4, negative 7, and now we can just connect the dots of our parabola. Alright, in the next video we will talk about maximums and minimums of quadratic equations.